Welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick 2021 Online, powered by Twitch. I have a few more donations to read off for you before we get right into Charlie Murder. I have $25 from, ooh, uh, Timotorua. Oh, I like that. Uh, it says, third year donating. It's not much, but I'm always so happy when I get to watch GDQ and I'll help however I can. And thank you for your donation. It doesn't matter how small your donation is, any donation is a good donation to a good cause. So all of those small donations are, are adding up to the, the over $1 million that we have right now, which is so wild. Thank you so much. And then I have a lovely $20 donation from Cartridge Blowers, which I think chat probably knows who that is. And it says, it's me, it's me, it's Cardi B. I got to donate during the breeze block. I stayed up just to tell you that you're doing a great job hosting. Keep crushing it. Here's a haiku. Second Mega Man played on the Game Boy system. Blue Bomber is green. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Cardi B. And I think with that, we are ready for some Charlie murder with Mortimer Nova. Take it away. Though, though I am aware that I need no introduction, I am the Mortimer Nova, the Magic Jordan of speedrunning, the Christopher Ronaldo of agility, the David Earnhardt Jr of totally being fast. With me tonight is a voice you may recognize from the direct-to-DVD movie, Air Bud vs. Godzilla. It's 1-800-POOP-NOW. Poop? Hello, yes, thank you, Mort. I'm 1-800-POOP-NOW, and one time I peed my pants while I wasn't wearing them. That's all you need to know about me. I, myself, also need no introduction, but who are we, if not authentic, unscripted performers? Pause for laugh. Oh, no, that's, uh, Mom, just skip the next card. Come on, this is live. All right, uh, so anyways, welcome and thank you for being here. This is a speed run for Charlie Murder performed by Mortimer Nova, who is in fact the record holder for most records held on speedrun.com. Can we get a little GDQ clap in the chat? A little bit of hype. It might be early in the morning, but let's keep the enthusiasm going. Thank you very much. Uh, so with that being said, you go ahead, Mort. I'll hand it back to you. This is your moment now. Fantastic. And because you guys paid for it, we are doing the chaos difficulty, as you see, on the screen at the moment. Um, it's better than the easy baby difficulty anyway, so let's go ahead and count down from 100 to kick things off. 100, 99. No okay, uh, yeah, as, as wonderful as the number as 100 is, let's go ahead and just jump right to three. So let's start it off, we'll count together. Uh, three, three two, two, one, one. go ahead. All right, so we're gonna be starting off in the Netherlands. Now, this isn't the Netherlands that most of you might know, um, but this is what it's come to in the state of this world here. Uh, so we're gonna be fighting some of the locals. It's, it's a tragedy what has happened to this, uh, this time in the economy. But, uh, you know, as things go, you, you just can't avoid uh, the downfall of society sometimes. So we're it's just gonna hard. go ahead and run with this. Um, we are going to be playing through the chaos difficulty. Thank you so much to all the donations. Uh, what a generous chat and viewer count we have tonight. Um, we are we are blown back by it. it's one million dollars over a million dollars Fantastic you love That's to see it. That's a big number a big beautiful number and I'm proud of each and every one of you So we've just come up from the Netherlands here uh, Got a little cutscene just to introduce the cast of characters um, Charlie murder is a side-scrolling beat-em-up from the Xbox 360 era, probably uh, my favorite of the bunch of them. It's like Streets of Rage uh, and a punk band uh, had a beautiful, beautiful baby together. And who doesn't love that? I mean, two great genres just slapsticked right together. So we're gonna be starting off strong as soon as we enter this bar with a tornado. We have our Anarchy abilities. Um, we're gonna be spamming through a lot of them to do our, our powerful attack as much damage as we can with AoE. Um, we've actually siphoned through all of the characters and their classes in order to find the best possible run. And um, you can actually unlock four different classes in the game. There's four different characters to start with. Uh, but there's a secret boss at the theater that you have to defeat a number of times in order to defeat each new band, which gives you quite a bit of playability. 
um, all these different types of play styles that you can do. So it's, it's, it's a great game. Um, play it with your friends. It's a good time. We're going to be heading into a mobility section, uh, handing it right back over to you, Mort. Perfect. So uh, when, when Games Done Fast called me directly on my private line, uh, I popped my Motorola flip phone open as fast as I could because I thought it was my BFF. Uh, none other than triple threat actor, singer, dancer, uh, Jason Timberlake. Then when they asked me to do a speed run of Charlie Murder to raise money for Doctors Without Burgers, I said, who is this? So they, they repeated everything uh, since I asked them to. And uh, then I was like, okay, yes. Assuming that I don't have a sweet follow-up date uh, with none other than actress Melinda Cosgrove. Uh, I mean, Doctors Without Bullhorns is my favorite charity. How could I say no, right, Poof? And a wonderful charity it is indeed. How could you possibly say no? Um, so we are passing past this mobility section. We're gonna be heading into another area here. Most of these mobility sections really are just spam the action button, try to get through it. Um, and so we're gonna be clearing these pretty easily. They will be great times for us to have a, a break to have some dialogue and possibly some donations later on as we get through with that. Um, once again, I just wanna plug, thank you so much to everybody who donated. I, I cannot overstate enough how amazing it is to see such a large number for such an amazing cause. Um, so we're going to be heading through the graveyard here. Uh, Mort, do you have something to say about this? I absolutely do. So what you'll find is a lot of this game is literally just, you know, running to the side because there's not a whole lot of skips in it. Um, this area here is one of the few skips that we have. And you can actually skip through quite a bit of this uh, transitional area here before the game has a chance to catch up thus not getting hit by those ghosts along the way. So it saves a lot of time, and it's something that we sort of accidentally stumbled across. Um, for being a game that is as old as this one is, um, it didn't actually even hit the speedrun.com leaderboards uh, until last November. And since it's since then, it's it's taken off, and I've been really proud to see that uh, that this community is, uh, is building every day. Um, and we just keep working more and more, shave that time down. The first run was an hour and a half long, and we've got it down to uh, right around 30 minutes now, which is, which is incredible, I think, quite honestly. Yes, and this game is actually how I first met Mortimer Nova. Um, I had gone onto speedrun.com and decided to do a run for the first time ever and found that he was the only person to do a run for this game so far, uh, and so I found his YouTube account. And we've been great friends since then. Uh, it's, it's been a little over half a year now, and I would not take back any of the time that I've spent. Um, we have a great community for this game. Um, we have a lot of fun. Okay, they're, they're adequate. They're, they're, they're cronies. We, you know, we'll, we'll call them as they are. You know, we don't want to give them too much credit. That's, that's fair. You're right. I run in a very um, small circle. So, yeah, you, you got to run a tight ship. You gotta, if, if you get them a little too egotistical, they start to get a little sporadic, they take over the chat. Uh, you don't want that. You don't want that. So um, we actually we, we have a we have a second here if uh, there's any if there's a donation that we could read. Oh sure. I have five dollars from Trevor from California that says time for the best music in a video game. Charlie Murder Hi. Oh thank you, Trevor from Trevor California. You are you are so right. Absolutely you are so right. a genius. Okay, Trevor. If nobody's told you today that you're a genius, let me be the first because you're right. It is some of the best music you'll find in a game. Plus, it was also made by the developer of the game in college. He does it all. Poop. What yeah, else the, is the he development team. On? What else the is development Scott team for this game on? is absolutely amazing. Uh, let's give them a shout out real quick. Ska Studios, fantastic job that they have done with all their games. Um, Charlie Murder obviously is is the one most notable at this time, uh, but they have another game you might have heard of as well. It is a side scrolling. Dark Souls type platformer game. Um, it is called Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, one of my favorite games to play. It is it is absolutely wonderful. They had a very small team that they worked on it, and we we absolutely love the art style and the mechanics. It plays very nice. Um, and I don't know if you've actually heard, Scott Studios is coming back to make a sequel, Salt and Sanctuary Say what? 2, and we are ecstatic. What? We are so happy to see that they are back in action even with as times as they are right now, um, production being as hard as it is. Um, so we, we cannot possibly be happy, any, any happier than we are. Um, so we're heading into a section here that 
takes a bit of tech. Um, there are some RNG sections in here that we have to really be careful of. As you can see, we're going to be spamming this tornado a lot, as I stated before. Um, as you drop enemies down, you can stomp through them to finish them off. For a lot of these little pseudo bosses, um, it's, it's going to cause a bit of time here. So we got to really do what we can to, to alleviate that issue and just spam through all of them with our, our, our big, powerful AoE attacks. Who doesn't love a good AoE attack? Um, Darn so team. as we're running through here, we're going to be heading into another section. Um, now, this is this is Paul's castle. Um, and before we can get to Paul, we have to do another mobility section as we pass all these little item shops here. Now, of course, as I stated before, the mobility sections, they, they're just kind of like beat them up, flash right through them. Um, this one, we have tried our hardest to, to make it faster. This is the Hawks and Hangers section. Um, now, as relentless as the section is for its RNG, we, we cannot predict exactly what part of the screens are going to be coming off of on the side, but we can at least count on the fact that there's always 36 Hawks. Um, the number. So we have, to, we have to beat them up with this hanger um, as they spit questionable substances at us. Uh, we, you know, it, it's the least of our worries at this point, whatever is coming out of these Hawks' mouths. Um, and, and, what a, what a tall castle this is. What a tall castle this is to climb. Um, it's, I mean, you gotta you got appreciate the architecture every now and then. You gotta, you gotta stop and appreciate the finer things. Um, I'm a fan of interior design myself. So, you know, this is, this is a really nice, nice place, nice scenery. Um, you know, I asked you I mean, oh, look at all the friends just laying around. before this game started to not say anything that would cause me to break character and laugh, and you failed me. I just wanna, I wanna, listen, you know I what? asked I, him, I said, don't make me laugh. Don't make me break character. And yet, we didn't even make it halfway through the run, and here we are. He's already got me giggling. Look, I, I'm, I'm just on auto. I do not control the things that come out that are processed by my brain. Um, and speaking of which, we have a guy speaking wingdings here. Let's, uh, let's get a shout out for wingdings. Um, we, we're going to be fighting Phantom Paul here. Uh, the thing is, as dark and menacing as he looks, He's, he's kind of a soft boy. He's kind of a little, he's, he's a little baby boy. We're going to clean right through him. Right and he's got that big old sight that don't scare us. They don't scare us. Um, <coughs> so we're going to so run next through here. Section. Let's talk about the next section, okay? Uh, there's a handful of sections in this game that we refer to as the run killers. Um, this is one of the run killers that it doesn't matter what difficulty you're on. Uh, it can absolutely destroy your PVs and your world records because, as you'll see, it is narrow narrow platforming and i would say more times than not um this is where my runs end uh as far as pds are concerned obviously i won't just shut down uh, tonight and call it a day um but these narrow platforming sections because your character slides and because we're trying to not destroy anything on here to optimize speed um you can just slide right off no problem just whoop, right off um I don't want to jinx it, but the hardest of the uh, slidey jumps we've already passed uh, as I was talking. So, uh, Poop, go ahead and take it from here so I can focus on the next of them. Yeah, so this is definitely a section that he needs to definitely uh, focus a little harder on. Um, but another thing we forgot to mention as well is there is a relic system in this game. It's kind of like having these little equipment trinkets that add onto your gear. Um, there's all types of them throughout the game. There's these little QR codes that you can find just pasted around the scenery. Uh, if you've got a keen eye, you can actually pick them out. And if you take a picture of them with your in-game camera, you can un unlock all different types of relics for all different types of statistical advantages. Um, now we have all of them unlocked, which gives us a plethora of bonuses that we'll be attributing um, throughout this game. Uh, and we have a section here as we're going on this raft. This is actually a section of the game where we can uh, soft lock. If, oh, you know, absolutely. it's... It, Kind of a 50 50 chance here um it is soft so we, central yeah so this this tornado attack is just so good that sometimes the uh the game gets a little overwhelmed it doesn't know what to do about it um but thankfully we we understand that this is something to to know ahead of time and so we're just going to be coming through here um and that leads into another mobility section uh so as this mobility section begins past this clear stage um we will have time for some more donations uh, if there's any more of those to read. 
Oh, there, there's so many. And between you guys and the donations, I'm really glad that I'm muted half the time because I'm losing it. All right. Um, <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have $5 from Bookie G that says, here's $5 to help get those doctors some burgers. And then I have $25. <laughs> That's going to be a hard time. I have $25 from Dirk Mathis that says, Did I hear this was a marathon for doctors in need of burgers and bullhorns? This cannot stand. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's all stand Donate together now. and get these doctors the food <laughs> and the volume increasing devices they need. <laughs> thank you for your donations. <laughs> you got, uh, thank you guys you so right much for those donations. With those donations right here uh, in the clavicle. Chat. Chat, we, we're, we're feeling the love for you tonight. Uh, we, we appreciate you so much. Um, we're, we're, we're just trying to set the atmosphere here, make it a good time. It is, it is four in the morning in Eastern Standard Time, but we are, we're, we're not gonna let that stop us. Uh, we're here to have a good time. Thank you so much for being enthusiastic with us. Um, yes, those, those donations, fantastic. Th get those doctors some burgers. Get those doctors burgers. This is what we've been saying for a long time. Okay, so yes, we, we, we don't want to discredit the, the charity here. Um, Doctors Without Borders is a very, very near and dear to us charity. Uh, we, we don't want to downplay the, just the effect that they have. Um, they're absolutely wonderful. So we, you know, we want to apologize if, we, if we've you know, misled anybody here. Um, that was not our intention. But we, we do sincerely have so much appreciation for them and for everybody who has donated to the cause tonight. Thank you so much. Um, so we're passing through this ship section here. And there's a little bit, there's a little bit of yo ho, a little bit of yar har, uh, as we're going through here. But that's not going to give us too much trouble. Um, there's a little boss section that we can go past. And the thing is, with these sharks, um, you know, you, you can't let sharks with bombs get away with, you know, causing problems in the world. As much as we do love our sea creatures, um, somebody, somebody has to put a stop to this. So we're we're going to be we having this uh, mini boss sharks. in a build. Yes, you, you have to be very careful of that as we're as we're scenery skimming through the reverse mermaids in the background, very lovely creatures, um, and having to deal with uh, Reginald the sea monster, who is who is not exactly a friend of ours. Um, so we're gonna be not. we're gonna be very careful about how we proceed with him. All right, so right, we're, we're heading another through the Pesky Barbecue now. Um, this is something that the current world record holder uh, has found uh, when we were starting to uh, break some of that tech, and you just saw it. That saves you about 20 seconds or so on the run um, by being able to do that side wall jump, uh, which is fantastic, especially um, that much time. Because uh, normally you have to platform around and go all the way through it. Not that way. You just use one of your abilities uh, and are able to just jump right up that wall. So you save yourself time. All right. So we're gonna be we're gonna be blasting through these enemies here with one of our world famous tornado attacks. Um, you love to see it. And we're gonna be coming up on this section here, which I myself have put so much due diligence into trying to conquer. Um, I've spent anywhere from four to five, maybe even ten. You know, some might even say eleven hours. Um, trying to get past this fence section, but there's there's just nothing we can do to skip this. It is hard-coded. They did a wonderful job of putting that flag right in front of us, keeping us from uh, blasting through this. I, I've tried prop manipulation. There's props in this game that you can actually unlock. If you have the relic for it, you can break down some items that are seen through the game and place them down wherever. And what you can do with that is if you walk up to the fence, turn around and spam down the prop manipulation, It'll actually push you through a lot of uh, semi-solid objects, um, which can be used to speed through some sections. It is is a bit iffy. The people that we have running the game don't exactly use it uh, because we haven't found the best way to interpret it yet. But we are saving it because one day it will become useful. So we get past our baby bottle section here. Um, who let that baby drive? Who let Not that baby me. drive? Where is that baby's parents? What the dog doing? So. We're gonna be going through here. It's gonna be crushing through the playground. Um, I guess the time for fun is over. You know, this this baby has had it, and clearly it it is on a mission. So we're not gonna stop it. You know, we're we're gonna go ahead and uh, just just let it be as we as we smash through some more enemies here. 
because we we also have a place to be and we don't want to slow down because Absolutely. speed is the name of the game we got two more sections of fighting coming up here before we come up to our next boss the shambling lunatic i didn't name him though i think it's a great name uh and after said shambling lunatic uh we're gonna be going into uh going into the asylum Yes, so for, for fans of Saul, the series, uh, you might find some of the scenery a bit inspired, um, heavily so at some parts. Um, so we, we are definitely appreciative of that. You know, we like, we like our bit of a reference inspiration here. And as we're going through this, uh, clear after this semi-boss, um, we're going to be heading right into that next section of the game. Uh, and with this next section, it does change the enemies that we're going to be fighting. There's going to be little invisible ladies. Yep, because little invisible ghosty says ladies that we're going to be having to fight. Hard side scrolling brawler, quite like invisible enemies. Uh, and when he says invisible, he literally means invisible. And it's not like it's a glitch, it's just that's what they are. You'll see when we come up to it. Luckily, our AoE attack uh, doesn't care if they're invisible, which is fantastic. Yes, yeah, so what we did here is we actually ran as the cutscene was going uh, and initiating the setup for those enemies. We were actually get right behind them. We did a little, we did a little sneaky guy on them. Uh, they didn't even see it coming, you know? So we're, we're just gonna go ahead and blast right past. Um, and we're gonna have to fight a little bit more then, but that's okay, you know, they're, they're not gonna stop us. They, they don't take too much damage before they're done. Uh, and then do a little bit more traversing. Um, that's okay. You know, sometimes we get hit from the pipe steam. That's okay. We like to call that, uh, we, we don't, we don't use the word mistake around here. We use calculated RNG manipulation. We like to believe that every little thing that looks like a setback is actually going to help us with our potential crit chance, maybe on a boss, um, maybe helps improve the RNG for a later section. We don't like to think negatively here. Only There's positive literally thoughts no here fact in. Or basis for those thoughts, but you know, nobody wants to feel like they've done a bad job. Yes. Oh, and there is Look the first of the platform. Demonstrating, balls. once again, another top-level performance uh, with our RNG manipulation. That is going to help us with our next section as we fall through here, through this next platform. You might say to yourself, oh, he just lost two seconds or so on that. I like to think we may have just saved 10 minutes somewhere. Yes. Two seconds in the hand is worth 10 in the bush. Uh, so we're doing this mini game here and we're going through this we're, we're gonna have to be pressing these buttons on the spiral here uh, it's, it's definitely a place that we're uh, We'll try to save as much time as we can, but you can only do so much about this um, And this is gonna help our character release himself from this once again as I said saw inspired Lockjaw trap here the old reverse um, bear trap. So we're gonna be running you know. through The reverse bear trap. It's a classic. We all love it. You know if you've seen the series, you know exactly what we're talking about I got um, one of those and on that my gets us out of the asylum. Oh yeah, I mean, what kind of a gracious what parent? What 80s kid uh, didn't though? Yeah, fantastic. 80s kids, time. you know. What a know. time to be alive. High five. Uh, so we're, we're going to be running through the mall. Um, as you can see, you know, it's there's still a, a bit of a, a, a global event going on. We won't exactly name it, but uh, so there's not many people in the mall. But uh, you know, as long as we are still practicing safety for others uh that's that's what's really you know if, if we can do it in a video game we can do it in real life and that's what counts so we're going to be running through here and trying to dodge these spikes um now if one of these spikes does hit us it might even benefit us later in the run so that's okay but as you can see we're going to be running through here so blindingly fast supersonic speed um it doesn't even it's like they don't even exist what spikes what is it who who are you how'd you get in my house so we're going to be going into this next section. We're going to be bypassing some saws. We're going to be flinging some meat around because who doesn't love a good meat tornado? Um, I mean, I, I used to live in Florida and they're, there was, they're known in some certain sections of the county that I lived in for their meat tornadoes. It was kind of like a, a local festivity um, to celebrate the coming of the meat. So we're going to be dodging through these tornadoes again here and we're, we're going to just try to take care of these these enemies as fast as possible um we're hoping that maybe some of what we did in the past has helped us with this section as we head into another scene here now this trucker he's going to be doing some chasing uh oh, yeah. akin to that of if you've played sonic adventure 2 battle this might look like a familiar scene 
So this is another mobility section. If we have donations, this is the perfect time for them. Absolutely. I have $7 from Sal's Waslib, I believe. It says, wear the banana, be the banana, you are the banana. I love the run, I love the chat, and I love everyone who is working hard to make this event amazing. Let's hit that Amen. two mil. Donation goes to the Banana Hat's Choice. Wow. And then $25 Wonderful. from John Silverhair that says, good luck on the run. Hope you don't slip up. Uh, oh, banana slip up. Is that another banana joke? This guy. <laughs> We love I it. I love it. Keep it coming. We appreciate it. So we're going to take care of this trucker here. He's going to do a little hobble because uh, this this tornado, he, he got caught off guard. Um, and he's going to be running. He's going to actually show us where to go. It's very kind of him. Um, he's, he skips the taco truck because he's not hungry right now. You know, he got a little blindsided. He's a little dizzy. He might be feeling a little nauseous. So we're going to head it's into fun. our Tony Hawk minigame section here. Luckily, I know all of uh, professional scrapeboard tricks. I know all, all six of them. There's uh, B, uh, X, Y, X again. I, I know them all. It doesn't matter. You got a curveball for me? It doesn't matter. Oh, you threw an A in there? Boom. Oh, it's a lot of buttons. It. All of scrape A lot of buttons. tricks. Wow. We, wow. We, Excellent. We call them top roller, performance. Roller wood here in Florida. Top level execution from a top level gamer at a top level event. Can we get some GDQ claps in the chat? Let's see some hype. Keep the enthusiasm going. It may be early, but we are not done yet. So we're gonna be going through here. We're gonna throw this barrel down and we're gonna pop it on a level. On the lever, we might take some damage, but that's okay. We mean to do that. Sometimes you gotta keep it spicy enough so you remember that you do uh, have some bit of mortality to you and not everything is promised. So as we're keeping things with positive thoughts leading forward, as we said, no negativity here. The game might be called Charlie Murder, but we like to believe that all of these murders are for the better, the better benefit of the world. So we're gonna be finally taking care of this infested roadie. Now this is the second section of the game where you can actually soft lock with that tornado. Um, so we're gonna be careful as we give him the time to do his transformation and we defeat him and we get another clear on a mini boss. Um, we're gonna be running through these barrels. I see all the GDQ claps in the chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I clap right back at you. Chat, you are fantastic tonight. Uh, once again, these donations, fantastic. I see that ringer going. I see those numbers growing. Um, some might even say we've earned at least $10 today. That is fantastic. You know, we're, we're heading up to three, even four digit numbers. Some might even say seven, who knows? I'm not a mathematologist. I don't go to school for this. So we're gonna be going through this mall section here. And this is an RNG section that we really, we really pray for. Yeah. Because there's these little flesh cesspools here. More, why don't you explain this? So essentially you've got five different points of, whew, we just passed the first two. You've got five different points of potential slowdowns. Again, this is another one of those uh, we are going to take no matter how good your run is at destroy it sections. Um, Passing by these piles, uh, you hope, and we just got one, you hope that those little fellas don't come out and get you. That one that just came out, however, is uh, one of the milder ones to deal with because he doesn't hold you back for too long. Um, if you have to stop and kill them, it absolutely can just throw the extra 10 seconds that you don't need into your run. Uh, this one being the worst of them. Uh, however, it looks like we were gonna make pretty short work of him. So it didn't throw us off too much, but you can see where the time loss had come in. It's totally random. I have found no pattern for it whatsoever. So it is what it is. Um, yeah, sometimes, unfortunately, section, you can get all of them. Sometimes you can get none of them. So sometimes we, we just like to hope for none of them. Yeah, as this, one the, the mall section is just, it can just be an absolute nightmare. Um, luckily, that, that went pretty well. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm relatively pleased. I'll say I'm about 80% pleased. Oh, that's a big number. Are you, are, you, are you sure you want to stick with 80? Now, we, we can, we can, you can phone a friend here. You want to go to 70? We can drop it. We, we don't want to overcompensate here. We, or we stick with 80? Is it, I mean, I do like the number 80. 78. 78? 78 is a good number. That's a good number. I like that. It's an even number. We're still sticking with it. We still got an eight, the number. We're set. So we're going to be heading through. Um, if you've got arachnophobia, this might not be your favorite section, but that's okay because we're going to do the Dark Soul Strat and we're just going to run right through. It doesn't, it's like they're not even there. Uh, what spiders? You know, what, what therapy sessions? You know, you just keep on going. You act like, you know, life doesn't stop you. Life's not gonna get you down. As you're getting shot at, as you're running through uh, literal death traps, 
It's about the perspective. It's all about Absolutely. the perspective that counts. So we're going to be going through here. We're going to be passing some more side doors, um, which we can obtain items from, but we're not going to need those. We don't need to heal. We are we are professionals. Just like Justin Bourne from the hit movie, Born Supremacy. Ooh, that's a good one. I love it. Th that, that one's featuring Colin Mockery, if I'm if I'm correct, right? That's I the am one. absolutely 110% positive that you are correct. Okay, yes, yes. As um, usual. I... I, I, I like the uh, the director's cut of that movie. It's fantastic. So we're gonna we're gonna be heading into another mobility <laughs> section here. Um, wait, wait, wait! I thought that was a documentary. <laughs> uh, so if we got another donation, now would be the great time for it. Sure thing. I have fifty dollars from Reborn Jade that says Ooh. all these runners are so great. The quality of the runs are so high that I can't help but be hyped for every run this SGDQ. Yeah. Ah. What a great positive message. We like that. We like that. Thank you so much for keeping the enthusiasm with us. Uh, we are we are so glad to be here. So glad to have this platform. Um, we we individually are both huge fans of speedrunning. Uh, Mort has been doing it for so much longer than I have. But I, I I like to believe that you know one day maybe I can make as much of a name for myself uh, as he has in this community. Um, yeah, it's amazing. But what we're going to be can do heading three through. Days. This is my third day of speedrunning. Yeah. And uh, I got to say, I'm really proud of myself. Uh, I, I want to give myself a round of applause, uh, but I can't because I have to hold the controller. So, you know, it is what it you is. You know what? We need another round of applause. Can we get just, just a little, can we let a little baby GD Cook clap in the chat? If you don't want, it's just, just one or two, maybe some might, you know, maybe five. I don't want to ask too much. Um, thank don't you so me. much. I'm going to pretend I already see it. Actually, I already see some. You guys are fantastic. You're already doing it. You know what's going on. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. So we're going to be heading into the final section here. Um, Mort's going to need to focus here because this is the last section of the game. RNG can cause some issues here as well. So we're going to be spamming our AOE attacks here. Um, and as we're getting done, you know, we just want to give you a final thank you. Uh, we, we are so glad to be here. We love this event. We love this charity. And we love all the people who are here, uh, all these gamers that are here tonight. Um, we've seen some amazing runs. I've been enjoying it a lot. One of my favorite ones was the Majora's Mask run that we just had uh, recently. Um, it's it's a good time. It's a good time. We're glad to be here. Uh, shout out to, to everybody who is working at this event. Um, you guys are great. So we're going to be heading towards some of the final areas here. We're going to be spamming some AOE attacks down to try to clear as much of this RNG. Great timing there. Wonderful timing. We're going to be making some uh, some good progress here. Um, and as we're heading down towards this final section, I will say a couple more words, and then I will leave it to Mortimer Nova as we get ready to call time. So um, I just want to say once again, thank you so much for this Chaos Difficulty Incentive. Um, I know that we had some options up on the board. We could have used the uh, PAL version where you play as the Beatles, but of course we want to be careful with the, the DMCA strikes. Uh, we know that you know in most countries in the world it has been taken off shelves, except for in Argentina, I believe. So, but this is not, we are not in Argentina, so we have to abide by the laws. So I'm gonna hand it over to Mortimer Nova here as he gets ready for this final boss. Absolutely, this boss can go one of three different ways. He's got three different formations and it all depends on what our crits say. So I will not be able to do a three, two, one. Um, I am just gonna have to give you a one because I never know. It all depends on the crits, uh, but you know, uh, it's coming up. So let's see. All right, that was first form. He's moving into second form. And we have got third form. And this is time right now. That's time. Time. Um, wow, wow, woo, wow. Listen, uh, I, 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 I am, I am absolutely all kidding aside, just thrilled to be here. Um, the speedrun community is awesome. Uh, oop, you got world record handy? It's like 30 minutes. I believe it's uh, 30 minutes. Uh, let me go ahead and pull over a tab here real quick. I, I'm a speedrunner at pulling up tabs. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check over here, do a do a little tab manipulation on Google Chrome. So the, the speed run for this game is hold, held by Sin Dark Fates, a good friend of ours. And the time for that, for the chaos difficulty, is actually 29 minutes and 58 seconds, just underneath 30. 
Ooh, good time. Great time. Good time. Anything under 31 is a good time. Absolutely. Because you've got so much RNG you're dealing with. Please just punch, I say. Um, but I want to thank, uh, I want to thank my beautiful wife for her support. Uh, even through times that she said, uh, watch the baby, stop playing stupid video games. Because I know what you meant, baby. You meant you can do it. And I believe it. I want to thank the speedrun community. Uh, games done quick for being fantastic with us. All the runners uh, for coming together for such an amazing cause. Uh, because seriously, like I said, all kidding aside, Doctors Without Borders, they do amazing work. So keep the donations coming, even when we're not here to motivate you. And I love you all, but uh, now I, I must be off because uh, the Mort signal has gone off and I have to save lives. To the Mortmobile. All right, so with that, we are concluding our session here today. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. Uh, you can find Mortar Manova at twitch.tv slash Mortar Manova, where you can find me as well as many other people in our community um, just about every night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I also do a little bit of streaming myself. I do some speed runs, mainly just obscure PS1 games. But if you like to see this kind of content, if you like this type of vibe, you want to be in a chat with uh, a bunch of friendly people, you know, we accept everybody for who they are and we like to talk, you know. Uh, it's always a good time. So thank you so much. Uh, and we're gonna hand it back over to the staff. Um, you guys have a great time. All right, thank you so much, Mortimer Nova, for that Charlie murder run. That was a blast to watch. We have some donations. Let's see. I have $25 from Unstoically Dest that says, let's see this gem of a game showcased on the big screen. Also, Mega Man 2, gotta love it. And we are gonna head over to an interview with Yellow Killer B and Nally Q. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for watching Summer Games Done Quick 2021. I am here with Nally Q, and she's going to be running Contrast very soon. Thank you so much for joining me today, Nally. Thank you. I really do appreciate this. <laughs> so I'm really, really looking forward to this run, and partially it's because it's a game I hadn't really heard of, but when I watched the speed run, I was like drawn in right away. It's, it's like 
it's such an atmospheric game. It has such a specific feel to it. So how much was that like something that drew you to the game as a speedrun? Uh, the aesthetic itself is actually what drew me in. Um, it's that, you know, those dark brown and gold color palettes. It's the film noir style. The music too is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, I remember back in 2013 when the music trailer came out and it showcased, you know, this style and the atmosphere and the music. And it was the main thing that really made me want to run this game casually. Mm -hmm. Well, and I feel like, you know, the the atmosphere of the game can be something that that like draws us in. If you're going to be playing a game over and over again, you might as well like enjoy the aesthetics, enjoy the music. Um, yeah, exactly. But I mean, unfortunately, this game does have a plot, but you don't get to see much of it in the speed run because basically you're like off the rails from like the first two seconds of the run. So um, tell me a little bit about how this speed run goes. Yeah, there is a lot that goes on in this run. Uh, from the very beginning, we start off going straight out of bounds into some very precise movement that is going to become much more complex the further that we progress in the game. And dash jumps are part of the main movement tech. Uh, and it's with these jumps that we're able to reach areas where we're really not supposed to be in because it skips pretty big sections of the game. Uh, but mainly in Act 2, Act 3, we're going to be going out of bounds a lot. We're going to be playing The Floor is Lava. I love that because it's like, you know, the slightest little mistake and you're pretty much falling through to no man's land. Yes. <laughs> So what are some of the challenges of playing a game that's got so much out of bounds? Because like in watching the run, it was like you barely, it seemed like you were at least as much out of bounds as you spend actually on the real floor where you're supposed to be. Yeah, so the out of bounds is actually one of the bigger challenges in the game. It looks like we're going through a very linear path, but there's holes in this path and you don't really know where the holes are unless you fall through them so once we you know go through these routes and really paint out a picture or a map of where we want to go with these rooftops um falling through these holes is one of the big trial and error uh practices that we have to do with routing out this game yeah so it's a lot of memorization a lot of like having to memorize kind of a route and make sure you're in the right spot. But you mentioned sometimes yeah. you even have to kind of feel your way through because you can't really see where your character is. Exactly. Yeah. So, so uh, go ahead. Yeah. So in act two, this is where we kind of showcase where you can't see anything. Um, the attraction that we go into is called Tortuga's Revenge. It's called Pirates for me, for simplicity, because I always forget the actual name of the attraction. Uh, but it has a big and probably the most interesting skip in the second area. So we use the Kraken to go out of bounds. Uh, sounds a little bit weird without seeing the game, but the interesting part is the next section after this skip, where mm -hmm. you're thrown into a room where most of the objects, even Dawn, who you play as, uh, aren't loaded in. And this room connects to another room that is completely deloaded. No walls, no floors, nothing aside from the platforms. It's almost entirely blind and you have to use audio cues to actually navigate the area. Mm. Nice. So it's definitely a good time to have some nice headphones on, you know, so you can oh, yeah. listen to those audio cues and, and exactly. hopefully not fall through the floor. Come on. Yeah. So, um, so I mean, obviously, there's a ton of reasons that this game is a great speed run. And I mean, it's something I hadn't heard of, but I mean, you guys are definitely going to want to check out this run later today. But how is this game uh, different from some of the other games that um, you run? Because I know you do run some other platformers as well. Yeah, uh, most of the games that I run are platformers like this one except for Silent Hill 4, which is a completely different run and genre and demon. But I would say that contrast is a separate category of platforming, at least in difficulty compared to the other mm -hmm. platformers I run, such as Spyro 1 Reignited, Klonoa, the Wii version, or Shady Part of Me. Uh, contrast is a very pa uh, fast paced run with several mm -hmm. precise tricks performed back to back in such a way where it skips portions of levels and acts and it significantly condenses your go uh, total game time into just under 16 minutes and mm -hmm. it's that necessary speed with almost every trick that I think places this game into an entirely 
separate category of platform or speed runs. Um, with my other runs to give you time to breathe. You have moments where you could sit back and play Uno yeah. with your cat, do some taxes, yeah. I don't know. But uh, with contrast, it rarely gives you time to even think. You just yeah. go. Those uh, few brain cells that I had before running Silent Hill 4 that were responsible for creating thoughts, they're gone. They're on hiatus. Uh, as soon as that timer starts, you just kind of jump in, head empty, yeah. no thought. Uh, yeah. Press buttons until the end of Act 3. Perfect. Well, I mean, you guys know Cat Uno, but plenty of speed. You're definitely going to want to tune in for this run of contact, Contrast later today. So thank you once again, Nally Q, for sitting down with me. Yeah, thank you. And thank you all for watching, GDQ. Yeah, thank you all for watching. And uh, make sure to stay tuned for plenty more runs coming up later today. All right, thank you so much, Nally Q and Yellow Killer B. I have one hundred dollars from Cheese Soda Punch that says, "Let's see some more games at GDQ and meet that my my finale incentive." And it looks like, let's see, we're currently a little over eleven thousand to that one hundred twenty thousand goal. So if you'd like to donate and see that, you can go to gamesdonequick.com. You can click over on the bids and, um, or if you just go to donate, and then you can choose that incentive when you go to donate, and uh, we'll we'll see that done. And we are gonna head over to a quick break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 